Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is your host, Yonkonomics, and I am here to show you a carrier video for the first time. This will be episode five. Um, I've had a lot of people reach out to me and say they wanted to get a tutorial on how to play some carriers. I can't say that I'm a super unicum when it comes to carriers, but I can tell you that I've had extensive time playing these British carriers, and uh, I think I have an understanding of how they work and how they're supposed to work. Uh, they got some interesting details to them, narrow launch angles on the torpedoes, uh, carpet bomber aircraft which drop these little HE bombs and they start fires and that's what they're supposed to do. It's, a, it's definitely a nuisance aircraft, but the one thing I want to highlight about the Tier 5 Furious, which is what we are going to be playing today, is the fact that at Tier 5, carriers are more of a support role ship, and I want people to understand that. I want people to know that before they jump into these things. You're not going to be number one and number two overall on your team unless you have some kind of seriously, seriously crazy awesome game. Um, again, I'm not cherry-picking any of these games. I'm not uh, doing any kind of editing, audio, whatever, whatever, ha whatever you have it, okay? I mean, what, what you're hearing from me now is raw, it's uncut, live, uncensored. I'm just going to show you what it's like to jump into a game with this thing, and this is going to be like the average game for you. So uh, I'm looking forward to doing maybe like two... Three, three games tops with this thing, and then I'm going to end the video at that, and this will be episode five of the TTTT Teach Me How to series. So, without further ado, I'm going to get into Dennis Boyd here real quick. Uh, these things have slow torpedoes on them, so I want to do everything I can to make the torpedoes faster. I'm running space fishy for that. And then I'm also trying to get my concealment up a little bit in case one of these pesky destroyers or cruisers moves in on my moves in on my territory. I don't want to be spotted by these guys, so I'm going to take Jersey Swirsky as an inspiration. Our base trait on Dennis Boyd, uh, air detectability, 7.5% right now with my current build. He's at a 14, uh, Legend 1. I just don't, I just don't have him ranked up as much as some of my other commanders. Uh, so my base, my, my traits here that I'm taking, uh, I'm taking contact is imminent, gives me plus four knots on my torpedoes. I'm going to take one way ticket, gives me a little extra punch on my torpedoes. But then when I go into the actual, uh, third and fourth inspirations. I'm going to switch over to bombs here because I really like these bombs, uh, these these carpet bombs. Um, I think they perform admirably, but the one thing you got to remember when you're talking about these carpet bombs is that these carpet bombs are a lot smaller than the actual HE bombs, say, from the Lexington, okay? So when you drop these HE bombs on heavy armor, they're going to shatter. And that's what a lot of people are getting frustrated with right now and that they don't understand when they're talking about um, you know, why, why am I not getting 29% uh, fire chance like which is on the Furious right now? Well, the reason you're not getting a 29% fire chance right now is because you're, you're shattering a lot of these bombs. And I'll show you what that's like. I mean, I'll show you a penetration hit. It does a lot of damage. You can do 10, 12, up to 15,000 that I've done before in a, in a, pen, in a penetration blast. Uh, as opposed to shattering some of these things. When you shatter them, they typically don't start fires. So... Uh, again, the third in, the third inspiration there is out of sight. Uh, number four, burn, baby, burn. I want to get my HE firebombing chance up there. I want to light targets on fire. And then the last one here is the vault. I want to do everything I can to give my dive bombers, torpedo bombers, a little bit of extra HP. Uh, helps them not to be shot down quite as easily as, uh, as, as they would without running this perk. So without further ado, let me get into HMS Furious real quick. I do have her fully upgraded. Uh, Stat-wise, she's 44,100 health points. Uh, both the bombers and the torpedo planes, they launch two, they launch two at a time. Uh, highlight a couple things on the torpedo planes here. They both have a 68 per second, uh, excuse me, a 68 second uh, aircraft restoration time, which is pretty nice. I typically don't run out of aircraft when I play this game unless I get into one of those really punch-down, brawling kind of games that you can sometimes get into. But you can see the torpedo damage and the bomb damage, maximum, they're relatively similar. I will tell you, you get more consistent damage with your torpedoes, but there's the drawback right there. They're 43 knots. There's ships at this tier that can outrun that. So you just got to be careful. You got to lead your target right. And then again, to highlight what the dive bombers do, 29% chance to start a fire with those, with those bombs. I believe each aircraft actually drops six of those little HE carpet bombs. Secondary armament, yeah, good luck with that. 
I'm not going to highlight too much on that. The AA on the Fury is not that great. Again, it's tier 5 as opposed to getting up there towards tier 7. We do have 31.5 knots on top speed, 12.5 uh, second rudder shift, but the turning circle is one of those things that we're going to have to highlight here, which is 1,070 meters. That's over one kilometer on a turning circle. That's massive. This ship was built on a battle cruiser hull, and then they basically built an aircraft carrier over the top of a battle cruiser hull. So it is what it is. I mean, there's nothing you can do to change that stuff. Um, and then detectability range by sea. We're at 9.2. That's not bad. Detectability range by air 7.1. Again, that's that's pretty decent. I'll uh, I'll take that. I'll take that and then some. Okay. I am running the uh, anniversary camo on it. That's a tier tier four camo. Gives me that extra concealment dispersion that I might need. And I am running it fully uh, fully upgraded here. We'll go through the upgrades real quick. I'm, I'm running Flight Control Mod 1. Aircraft Restoration Time is huge. I mean, that's the way you attack. Uh, Air Groups Mod 2. Again, I put everything into airplanes that I possibly can. And then I'm fully decked out here with the uh, Barracuda. Uh, the Barracuda Mark 2 on both the, the torpedo planes and the HE Bomber planes themselves. And then I'm running the hull upgrade. So without further ado, I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's get into this. Let's get, it, get some matches. And we'll have some fun with this thing. Here we go. Now, the, I mean, again, if you watched uh, episodes one through four, you'll know that the first thing I do when I get into a game is I'm always going to hit the select screen. I want to see who I'm up against. I want to see the ships I'm up against and then the people I'm up against and then, who I have, and then whoever I have on my team as well that's going to come into play. So uh, my number one philosophy when it comes to actually playing aircraft carriers is I want to spot DDs. I want to get destroyers off the map. I don't want them on the map. I don't want them to be a part of the game. It pisses me off. I, 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 I need people to shoot destroyers when I get them spotted. And I'm going to try and keep them spotted however I can. Um, if they smoke up, I'm going to switch targets, though, to whatever's nearby. And that's just kind of how you play the game. And in the meantime, you got to watch where the enemy uh, enemy aircraft carrier planes are going. Um, this is going to be a cruiser-heavy, destroyer-heavy match. And it is a Tier 4, Tier 5. So... Uh, this should be pretty fun. Uh, we'll see what we'll see what we can do. Uh, the New York, the New York is going to be my main target here because he can absolutely devastate a lot of my stuff, and I don't want that to happen. So here we go. I'm not going to move my plane up just yet. I want to see how this battle unfolds before I start uh, doing anything in regards to um, moving my aircraft carrier around. If you push up too fast, you're going to get spotted, and then people focus you because they hate aircraft carriers. Because why? Well. They hate airplanes, and, well, you should too. So I call it Sky Cancer in the world of tomorrow. But I did have a couple people reach out to me. They wanted me to play an aircraft carrier game. They wanted to see how aircraft carriers are played since this is a new lineup. Uh, I figure, why not? I don't know that there's a whole lot of videos out there about how to play the Tier 5. Uh, forgive me, I'm not going to do anything on the Tier 3, the Tier 3 Hermes. Uh, no offense, that's a horrible ship. If you have Global XP, you should just Global XP your way through it. It's actually so bad that me and a couple other of my teammates from uh, Warfare at Sea, we've actually affectionately nicknamed it the HMS Herpes because it's that bad. It's just, it's horrible. It's awful. It's, it, it's a terrible ship. Sorry. Sorry, Wargaming. No disrespect, but it's it's awful. So we got an Omaha right here. I'm just going to go ahead and start uh, lining up a torpedo run on the Omaha. Now you can see he's got some narrow angle torpedoes. If I can get these just right, uh, I should be able to hit them with at least one or two here. Looks like one I'll get them with. Perfect. Um, just, just to annoy people. Uh, I didn't. I don't think I spotted anybody uh, destroyer-wise here. So again, I'm just going to come in and I'm going to drop the uh, torpedo planes in this Omaha and make them regret as the decisions to take them on this battle. So there's some more torpedoes. Uh, he's going to hit both of those. Yep. There we go. That's a flood with 66,000 damage. I'm up to 11,701, and he is going to sit here and try and push a cap. I'm not going to let him push a cap. I am absolutely going to come after this guy with everything I have, and that's all. There's the torpedo, and there's your fourth torpedo hit. All right, so we lost five torpedo planes. Uh, I'm going to launch another salvo of torpedo planes. I want to make sure, ooh, there he is. That That's the ship right there, the, the kamikaze. I need to get that thing off the board. That is an absolute game changer when it comes to these ships. Noticing that the enemy aircraft carrier is actually focused on sea as well. I'm gonna make sure I can do everything I can. To get over here and support my guys. So here we go, we got a 
Kamikaze right here. I'm going to line up my Torp run. Let's see what he's up to. Here we go. We got two Torp hits on the Kamikaze. That's a big deal. That is a nasty ship at any tier. There we go. He is almost gone. Now I just need to have somebody shoot him as well. Unless I can get a torpedo run on him again, we're going to see. Uh, we do have one of our guys to shoot at him. I appreciate you there, Minikaze. You're doing everything you can, and I totally respect that 100%, brother. So appreciate it. There we go. Minikaze got him. We got a. We got. We got the cruiser off the map on this side. We got a kamikaze off the map on this side. That's huge. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to send my last two planes over here at the Konigsberg. And then I'm going to switch up to some HE carbon bombs. I'm going to show you what that's all about. Again, am I a super unicum when it comes to playing some of this stuff? Absolutely not. But, you know, at least I can I can kind of show you guys a little bit of a tutorial about how to play this stuff. So we're going to get two torpedo hits on that, on that Konigsberg, and that's perfect. So no floods. I get that. That's going to happen. So... One of the things you're going to notice about Tier 5 aircraft carriers is you're going to have anywhere from 20,000 damage games to maybe up to like 50,000, 60,000 damage games. That's to be expected because they're more of a support ship at this tier. They're not really capable of taking over a game per se. Uh, and it looks like our guys are taking care of A quite well, and I'm really happy about that. So that leads me to believe that I can continue to just focus solely in on taking this sea cap and... Uh, you know, I'll, I'll wreak some havoc over here. We got Pensacola. I can carpet bomb him. And that's what I got equipped right now. I got those carpet bombers up. New York's over here. Perfect. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try and do an attack run on the Pensacola because I really feel like the combined AA of the other ships. Well, hold on here. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to bypass Pensacola and I'm going to go right for New York. So you're going to see, as I start my attack run, you're going to see the actual target angles. The target angle closes up real nicely. Um, you want to drop this thing in a way that it strafes right across the uh, superstructure if it can. There we go. I got a fire started. There's one hit and then one overpen. And I found their enemy aircraft carrier. There's the carriers. So I do have a permanent fire on that uh, New York, which is perfect. And then here I go at the... Oh, Jesus. Ouch. Okay, well, apparently he doesn't like being shot at by tor uh, torpedo and bomber planes, so I'm going to try and push up here to get into a position where I can better support my team. I do have torpedo planes back, so I'm going to try and go at this Konigsberg, uh, unless they get him, and then I'm going to switch it up a little bit. Uh, all of a sudden, our team just decided to throw away their ships, and that kind of stinks. Uh, going to try and throw some fighter planes up to protect my guys, but you know, there's only so much I can do. Whereas Minikazi's really throwing, uh, throwing himself away here. I wish he'd smoke up, but you know, I do have some do have some options to help him out. All right, so here we go. We got the New York here. It doesn't look like he is uh, under a damage control right now. He may get killed by these torpedoes. If not, I can try and finish him off right here. Otherwise, I'll come back around for another attack right here. Okay, so we got one hit there. We'll finish him off on the next one. should do it right there, I think. Bango, bango, bongo. Yep, there it is. He's gone. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and focus on this. Uh, uh oh, I got a T-61 pushing me. This sucks. Evasive maneuvers, boys. Evasive maneuvers. Yeah, that's the that's the bad thing right there, guys, guys and gals. I uh, I could really use some help from that uh, battleship over there. He's not doing a whole lot to help me at this moment. Um, you know that's gonna happen. So looks like our guys did get the Pensacola though, so that's a big deal. Um, that bought me probably another minute here. I need some help with the T61 though, so I'm gonna straighten the ship out. 
and I'm going to go from there. So torpedo planes are going to be up. I'm going to try and get my my aircraft carrier going and moving, and you know we're going to go from there. Um, looks like I might be able to dodge one of those, but I wasn't going to be able to dodge the other one. So there's some torpedoes on the T-61. Uh, he did dodge them. He's doing a good job at that. So I do have a salvo of torpedoes coming my way. That's probably going to end up killing me, unfortunately. Um, again, this is why I'm cautious about getting my ship moved up into combat right away because sometimes people just, uh, they're not paying attention. Um, they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing in terms of helping me out. Um, Turd Ferguson here is doing a great job of making sure that his uh, his stuff isn't getting blown up here. So, turn my aircraft into a way here that I only take one of these torpedoes. Thank God. I'm just hoping that my Emil Burton's going to get over here and actually start shooting this freaking T61. There it is. Oh, that's huge, guys. That's so huge. That is so huge. All right, I'm gonna drop some air. I'm gonna drop some torpedoes in there. Uh, clearly, that aircraft carrier is smoked up right now. I have no idea where he's at, but his planes did just take off from there, so he did get one torpedo hit. Uh, I'm gonna try and come back here. I'm gonna get my carpet bombers moving, and then I'm gonna drop some. I'm gonna drop some more fighters on top of me right now, just to keep these uh, aircraft planes off me. There he is. So I'm gonna start my attack run. You'll notice again that the circle closes up as soon as you start your attack run. That's that's the uh, that's the fun part about all this. There we go. There's a Confederate medal in an aircraft carrier, <laughs> of all things. So good stuff. Good stuff, guys. Let's keep at it. We almost got this Furious off the map. Uh, if I can get the Furious off the map, I should be able to survive the match. We'll see what happens. There's some torpedo drops there. He got another fire on him, and we got the kill. Perfect. He is gone. I am still alive. We're in the game. We are fighting for our lives, boys and girls. And it had just happened. It just so happens that we have a destroyer spotted up here by our Emil Burton. So well done, well played. We have no more carrier to worry about. We got one destroyer. We got to worry about one cap. So here I am. I'm gonna I'm gonna make my way over to the Fairview. He is almost gone. Uh, we're gonna have a great time with this one. This is probably one of my better games, actually, in the uh, Furious. And I know I got a little bit lucky there at the end, but here we go. Perfect. And that is a win. That was a slugfest. I wouldn't be surprised if I was top three in this match with uh, with what I was able to do. And we'll scroll over just to make sure. Uh, that was my first Confederate Medal of the Week. I haven't been playing a whole lot this week. I've just been focusing on work and everything, but... Yeah, 66,000. That was a decent game. Uh, I got 34 planes shot down for a clear sky medal. Uh, <laughs> it's good stuff, you know. I tried to do everything I think I could in that match. And we, oh, we ended up number one in the team with uh, 2,534 XP. That's uh, that's pretty crazy. I think that might be one of the better games that I've ever played at a Tier 5 match like that. So uh, pretty cool. But still, at the same time, I think we're, what we're going to try and do here is we're going to we're gonna try and play at least one more game. Um, you know, that one, that one went by, I, I, like I said, I hate to, I hate to show you like a cherry pick kind of game there. And I want to be able to show you that, um, there are drawbacks to the ship too. So without further ado, let's get into another one. And before I make and before I forget to make a caveat statement to all this, if you like what you see, if you enjoy the content, by all means, throw me some comments in the comments section, throw me a like on the video, and if you love me, give me a subscribe. I appreciate you. Um, you know, there's been a lot of controversy lately. I'm I, I'm really sorry about all that. I I don't like it any bit. Um, that's not the way that I want to be known for as a content creator on this game. 
Um, not necessarily a community contributor. That's not what I'm going for. I do not want to be a community contributor. But I do want to create good content for newer players. Uh, and like I said, avoid the HMS herpes, as we call it, at Tier 3. Just global XP to the ship. I think you're going to have a lot better time playing this than you are the Tier 3 HMS herpes. Uh, let's see. And I, I got to tell you, um, I mean, if some people want to see a follow-up video, if they want to see me play the Implacable, uh, I might have something like that in the works. Can't confirm nor deny the fact that I'm working on that one. I do have some extensive time playing the British Carrier line, just uh, position I'm in with Wargaming. So, uh, without further ado, let's get into our second match here. We are, uh, let's see here. We are in another Tier 5, Tier 4, so we are lucking out with this stuff. I really, I'm really, i really happy about that, but we are going up against another Furious, so we're going to see. It's going to be a Furious, Furious head-to-head -head match, uh, just like the last one was. I'm going to go ahead and drop some fighter planes. These torpedo planes are coming right at me. He dropped some fighter planes. I'm going to go ahead and avoid those guys. I don't want to get any closer than 3 kilometers, thank God. Otherwise, they'll start chasing me. break off here and I'm gonna go over toward B. Looks like we got a destroyer spotted. We got a bow boy. And since I got my torpedo planes up, torpedo planes are what I always do right off the bat. Like I feel like I feel like my job in an aircraft carrier, and I probably can't stress it enough, is to spot these destroyers and keep them spotted. Um, you know, if he's getting if he's getting engaged by a Mahon and a Gorky and he's in a Bovoy, I think he's at a disadvantage. And it looks like this cruiser here in the Dallas probably isn't helping him a whole lot. Go ahead and break off that attack. Um, he's bow on to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some torps at this Dallas and see if I can get some of those to hit. Oof, dodged him. Okay. Well, the Mahon's in a full-blown gunfight with the Bovoy. Uh, Mahon can win that every day of the week, twice on Sunday. So I'm not going to focus on him too much. Instead, what I'll do is I'll just make sure I focus on this Dallas. Looks like he's going to run around here. And here's those narrow-angle torpedoes. Here's where they come in handy. Bingo, bango, bongo. There we go. We have we have a flood on him. We have two torpedo hits. Bovoy is gone. Dallas is out of commission. He is about to get hit by another torpedo. If I can make it there without my without his AA just absolutely wrecking me. There we go. We got a torpedo out. That sh ooh, that's gonna be close. I think it's gonna hit. I think that's gonna hit. Yep, there we go. We got another hit on him. So uh, we're up to 14,000 on that Dallas. I want to make sure that we can get the control of V-Cap. Those guys can flood up the middle. Ooh, somebody's got a Sor Sorocco already. That's nice. Well done. Well, well done. I, like I almost want to look at that thing. Here, I'm going to give him some fighter weapon. some fighter cover. Uh, I know we got a marble head out here duking it out against the Grafspie. That's probably not the best match for our poor uh, for our poor marble head here, but if he can manage not to get hit by a torpedo, which he did, that's awesome. Um, maybe I can help out in any way, shape, or form that I can. All right, so we do have a T-61 over here. I'm still equipped with the uh, torpedo planes. He's going to try and kite out for me. Looks like the, T looks like the uh, Grafspie is going to do the same thing. Trying, these are going to be wide-angled. Uh, there's no way that I can do anything else besides that right now. Hopefully one of these torpedoes will be on target. Uh, nope, he's going to split them. But now that he's done that, I think I can come back around and get a good run on him here. All right, yeah, these will be a lot tighter. Again, this is about leading your target. Um, those are really tight. He is going to overcompensate here. He's going to get hit by both of those. And we got him. That is how we play that, okay? that That's how you lead your target. Get that guy off the map. That's huge. That is a T-61. That is a hell of a boat. You don't want that You don't want that wreaking havoc in your game. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to move up to here. Uh, just get get closer to this Grafspie here. I want to get this Grafspie off the map. He wrecked our guy on C. Um, he's my sole focus right now probably going to end up moving my carrier towards C as soon as I can get the Grafspie off the map. We're at 24,608. Um, if I can get some carpet bombs on the Grafspie here, 
I'm gonna roll over to B and I'm gonna try and cover our guys that are protecting B the best they can. We're on a four, we're in a four on four battle right now. So we gotta be cognizant of that too. All right, so here we go. There we go, we got carpet bombs on the way. Ba boom, ba boom. We got hit by two of them. Not, not a big hit, but at the same time. We got a fire, that's perfect. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna switch up to uh, torpedo planes. We are working on a four on three right now, so we're in a slug fest, but again, I'm in that position where I really have to focus this Grafspi. Um, hoping that we can get the other cruiser off the map. We do have a battleship still in the game yet. He's over there, he's a Congo, he's doing well. Feel bad for Mahon, he's doing everything he can and more. Okay, we did just lose our Koenigsberg, so that sucks. But I'm going to do everything I can with these torpedo planes to try and get this Graf should be off the map. Keep resetting him. Um, he is close to capping his base, so I want to make sure he does it. Okay, I should be able to get a reset there. Um, there we go, reset it. And I'm going to come back around. I'm just gonna keep. I'm gonna keep messing with this Uh That's all I can do, right? Uh, I, I can reset the caps with these torpedo planes. That's what I can do. There's there's one more. There's one more bomb uh, torpedo hit. Excuse me. Well, he's tanking a lot of this damage, though, uh, from these torpedo planes. He's definitely tanking a lot of it. Pretty incredible. Uh, well done. Well played on his part, for sure. That is a torpedo that I wish was in a better angle. No doubt. So, I'm, like I said, I'm going to keep after this guy. Uh, he might end up capping C, and we could lose the game on this one. I'm really hoping that we don't, but... I got to do everything I can, you know? It's, uh, it's tough sometimes. And we did, they did cap C, so unfortunately. But we do have the Congo. The Congo is on A right now. He is capping that back. That is good news. I have not been spotted this entire match. I'm going to go ahead and do some carpet bomb runs on this uh, Graf should be here. See if I can get him lit up here. It's been hard to get some floods in this game. Uh, sometimes that'll happen, you know. Bombs away. Good run. There we go. We got a good hit there. There's three carpet bombs that nailed him. No fires, but that's okay. I mean, that's again, it, it's kind of, it's kind of one of those lurking kind of things. It it, it says 29%, but you're not really getting 29%. Right, he avoided all those. I got some, I got some torpedo planes back. Let's get these torpedoes inbound. All right. So what I'm going to do here is I want to get the, uh, I'm going to get the aircraft carrier moving. I want to get back on B here. How's our Congo looking? I can't see him, but we are we do have two caps to one cap, so that, that does improve our chances of actually winning this game. And as long as I got a full run of full run of torpedo bombers here and I can keep harassing the hell out of this Grafspi, he's gonna have a rough time with all this. So as long as I can get one or two uh, torpedo hits on this guy, we should be able to keep him just harassed and not having a good game for the rest of the day here. So drop the first set. Oh, he did close the distance on that first one. That that would have hit him. Um, but now he's got to compensate for coming back the other way. So here comes the second set of torpedoes, and I think I, I think both those should hit. Yep, there we go. And we got a flood there, so that's really good. And he's also going to hit. Looks like he's probably going to get stuck on that island. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, okay, he got off of it. Nice, nicely done. But now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to throw all 12 of these freaking uh, carpet bombers at him. He's been hit. He uh, he had to damage con that, so now I get to throw some carpet bombers his way. And he's bow on to me, so I'm not really worried about what he's trying to do right now. All right, here we go.
Okay, so we did get one hit there. We're up to fifty thousand. Um, not a great, not a great game so far. But again, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not a carrier guy. I'm not a big, I'm not a big uh, carrier uh, unicum, as they call it. I'm just a guy that uh, tries to come out here and help my team the best I can. And if that means throwing some uh, British carrier, eight, you know, HE bombs on some people, then all, by all means, let's do it. I do have a run of torpedo planes left, so let's do them. Let's get them up there. My Grospe is down below, looks like about 10,000 health. If I can get two to three torpedo hits on him in the six planes that I got, I think we got him. We'll be able to take him off the map. I am focused on him. Uh, I'm not really concerned about the carrier. The Congo's got to do some things for himself right about now. Um, we do have two caps, so my concern is the Grospe and the Grospe alone. Torpedoes out. Looks like we're gonna get maybe one hit there. Um, he's gonna turn in. Okay, so we are gonna need to get two more hits on him. That's for sure. So we'll go ahead and lead the target a little bit more here. Line up a torpedo run to get some extra loot on this guy. That, that rear, that rear torpedo doesn't like to always work as intended. There we go. We got him, and that's how we roll. All right, I gotta I gotta help out my Congo the best I can. So now he, he's doing really well over there. I gotta applaud this guy, Day Walker. You've been you've been playing a hell of a game over here. I apologize that I haven't been over there to support you with my with my uh, with my fighters, but I'm gonna give you everything I got and then some more here because I'm gonna keep rolling at you, brother. I'm gonna keep coming. I'm gonna give you everything I got now. So this looks like a win to me, guys. Um, you know, we're, we're gonna, we did everything we could and more. We got two caps. We got the Grafspie off the map. We got a Dallas hit hard. I mean, we, we, we did a lot of stuff over here today. So, well done, well played. Kind of thinking this carrier might be behind this island. So, give him some fighters. Hopefully that helps him out. Now it's just time to look for the uh, actual aircraft carrier itself. So I'm going to go ahead and start maneuvering my aircraft carrier to get into a position where I might be able to cut him off. Looks like his torpedo planes are actually going to give him himself. Yep, there it is. I figured that his torpedo planes were going to give himself away. Um, his torpedo planes heading back to his carrier. All we had to do there was just follow his air, uh, follow his aircraft back to him. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to line up a, I'm going to line up a dive bomber, or uh, excuse me, an HE cover bomber on here. Uh, we, we're going to have a good, good angle on his deck here. I'm going to drop towards the bow. That way he climbs. He actually walks into those bombs as they hit the deck. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, we got a good one there. High caliber. Nice. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep launching these because you know why not? We seem to be we seem to got something figured out here. Why not? Congo Congo's got him spotted. My aircraft is still over the top of him. And actually, guys, I'm 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 actually surprised. I mean, the more I play the more I play the Furious, the more I play the, the more I play the Implacable. Um, I, I seem to do better with them. And actually, this this carrier line's probably become my second favorite carrier line to play after the uh, German car aircraft carrier line. That Parsifal, uh, the Parsifal and the Weiser, I, I think those I think those ships are massively massively powerful. And uh, you know, I, I I've been waiting for a, a line that I can actually play and have a good time with. And I, I I'm really having a good time with these. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully they just get better in the future, and we'll go from there. So. See if I can make another run at the Furious here. I'm gonna drop some planes right there. Drop the bombs. Ba boom. Okay, I got a fire. That's perfect. I think he's gonna be burning for a little bit on that one. Oh no, he damn it. Okay. Oh man, he just shot all that down. Okay. I'm going ahead and I'm gonna try and cut him off. We have 30 seconds here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get another run on him, but. You know, you look at the scoreboard here. We got 77,505 uh, damage. We got two kills. We got a high caliber medal. I mean, I, I think we did what we were set out to do. 
I think we did everything we could have, and here we are. So, this is how you play it. This, to me, is how you play the Furious. Uh, I'm getting this one back from the brink. I don't think these torpedoes are going to hit before the timer goes off. No, not going to get them. You know, we probably would have got about 10,000 more damage there. But, again, it's not always about being sexy. It's about supporting your team the best you can. I think we did what we had to do there. I think I'm going to end the video on that note just because we had two decent, I mean, really decent games. It, we, I, I don't remember the last time I ended up number one on my team in back-to-back -back games in a carrier. So I think, at that, I think on that note, we're going to have to end it there. Guys, if you like what you see, hit the like button. Subscribe to Yonkonomics on YouTube. As always, I'm going to be back with more content. But for today, I think this is a good one. We're going to leave it at that. This is how you play the British aircraft carriers. It's your boy, Yonkonomics, signing off. Peace out, guys. Love y'all. We'll see you on the next episode.